Then I wanted to do a really interesting exercise. Let's think about the $100 bill. A $100 bill is 16 square inches, uh, really thin, like you know, it's like a, it's a piece of paper and weights one gram, right? And it's 6.14 by 2.61 uh, uh, inches. Right, that's it, $100 bill. So that means that the 50% of Americans' uh, net worth is 500 of those bills, right? 500 times uh, 100 is 50,000. How, how, how does that look in the real world? It looks like this. If you were to lay out on the ground the total net worth of half of the Americans, of at least 50% of the Americans have about that amount of money, that means that it will look like this. This is a hundred, hundred dollar bills, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollar bills. Yeah, you could lay them on the floor. That's your entire network staring back at you. That's everything. You were to sell all your assets and liquidate everything into cash and you go to the bank, you get that. 500, 100 dollar bills, you can put them on the floor. Well, be careful because if you do that, people are gonna be like, wow, thank you. <laughs> um, but this is just an imaginary exercise. That pile on the ground, that pile that, uh, it would be five feet by 11 feet. About the surface area of smart car, right? Yeah, there you go. That's 50% of Americans, more or less. That's all they have, you know? Let's compare that to Bill. Let's compare that to Bill, right? And that's, his, that's, his in, that's in meters. 80 billion. What does 80 billion $100 bills look like in $100 bills? That's 800 million $100 bills. So if you were to lay out 800 billion $100 bills on that rectangle, how big that rectangle would that be? It would be 11, 1,100 feet by 60 to 300 feet, like almost a kilometer by two kilometers. That's the amount of money that Bill Gates had if he could actually liquefy that. I don't know if that, that there are many $100 bills in the world, by the way. You could you could park 351 Boeing 747s. That's one of the largest airliners in the world. 351, that's a big parking lot. So big that it would actually be half of the size of Central Park in Manhattan. But we're not done yet. Let's compare that in not just in surface area, but if you were to pile it, all right? So let's say you were to pile $50,000 on your mouth in $100 bills. Well, you get a pile that is about, if considering that it's 0 0.0043 inches thick per, per bill, uh, the, uh, you have a, about one pound of bills on your mouth. That's your entire net worth. You could actually chew on it. And it would be about two inches uh, wide. So it's chewable. It's almost like a big burger. That's your entire net worth. You can take that anywhere, no problem. Let's compare that to Bill Gates. All right, so $800 million $100 bills. If, 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 if Bill, uh, no pun intended, if Bill wanted to take all his bills out on a bank, uh, they would be about 800 tons, 800 tons. And if he were to stack them up, I don't know why he would do that, right? But let's say he was like, I want to show the whole world how my stack compares to everybody. I have the longest, biggest stack in the, in, in the human race. It would be very skinny and very long. And it would be, you know, like some planes fly this high, right? Uh, you know, 3,200 feet. And uh, actually, tallest than the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, which is 130 meters, this will be exactly 174 meters. Bill Gates' $80 billion in $100 bills will be 874 meters tall. Is that good? I don't know. Uh, we'll see next. Actually, I don't think it's that good because to make you feel better about this whole idea, and actually there is a corollary to this story, um, is that um, let's say that you had your whole wealth there, 50K, um, providing that that was, but let's say, let's say that all you own, like a lot of Americans, is, is, is 50K. Well, that's what it would look like if you were, if you were put that, that wad of money uh, 10 meters on top of you, and this is drawn to scale, dude. This is a six-foot... 
uh, men, and this is a stack of fifty uh, fifty thousand dollars there uh, in one hundred dollar bills. Let's say you drop that in your head. Boom. Wow. You'll be like, my God, it just rained $50,000 on my head. This is my luckiest day of my life. And you'll maybe get a little concussion, but you'll be, you know, you'll have enough money to survive because you just had the money coming into your head. So um, what would happen if you had $80 billion like Bill Gates? How would that would look like if you were to stack them in a humongous cube, right? Well, the cube would be... 32 feet tall, wide, and in depth. So basically a huge 32 feet cube. Uh, cube. It's like about 10, you know, 9.7 meters. That's a big cube full of money. $100 bills, $80 billion, 800 tons. So is it nice to be Bill Gates right now when you have your entire wealth hovering over your head? Well, no. Obviously, there is disadvantages of being very wealthy, and that would be a potential one. Which means you actually, when I say Joe versus Will, if that happened to be you, if you happen to be the average American, then you actually win in this fight, at least for that specific thing, which is whether if money comes into your head. All right, so let's go back real quickly, and we're almost done because this is the this is the the part that hopefully makes sense about everything. Is that a hundred dollar bill doesn't seem like a lot, but we live today in the first time in history with with just one hundred dollars, you could actually start a complete profitable business because the the amount of money that takes to kickstart a business uh, nowadays is literally with a hundred dollars you can do it if you don't believe me there's actually a book that is called the hundred dollar startup reinvent the way you make a living do what you love and create a new feature by chris uh, Gilebert. Gilebert, i don't know really how you say that chris where he shows examples of a lot of people that with just a hundred dollar investment they have been able to create hundred thousand dollar businesses and really quit their jobs with just an idea and a hundred dollars is possible so what I want to say after all this all this ranting is that be optimistic you can do it and in this course I want to teach you how you can do it as well so let's do it hey did you enjoy this video if you want to see more like this just subscribe here if you want a free gift click here yeah which one is going to be the one